inflating the mighty steed for a trip down the trail. That next on Geocaching with Sem Rebel. Well, this, uh, these cache requires uh, some new containers. So we're heading to the Dollar Ram. Because they have a selection of containers and we're looking for lock and locks. So we're going to go with the uh, lock and lock. Alrighty, went to, with the old uh, lock and lock box. It's got three uh, latches on each side. These uh, tend to last a fair bit out there. They have a nice uh, seal around the outside to keep the moisture out. Um, do come across them with the one of the tabs is broken off, so just uh, over wear. So we'll put these out and see how they go. Got three of them and need at least two. Um, one cache is going to be uh, probably just a log replacement. Another uh, good thing about these uh, cache containers three of them cost like just over five dollars. So, <laughs> all right. So if you watch the October maintenance call, I had two on a trail left, but uh, good thing I didn't do it because one popped up that needed maintenance that's smack dab in the middle of the other two, so glad I didn't get to them, so now I can do all three at the same time. I think I got five or six on this trail, so I should actually probably check in on everything, but uh, somebody just did this run and said everything else was okay. so. We'll, uh, move on. All right, I think my trusty steed is all ready to go. We're at the trail. I have this uh, pack on the front of my bike here and put in the uh, cash containers. It has a nice little window when it's clean. I can put the phone in there and watch the GPS. I also have a mount for my Magellan that I never use anymore. <laughs> so let's uh, head down the trail. Okay, if I don't fall off and film and head into the far one first. All right, so we're at the first location. Uh, of course, everything's changed because I haven't been here in like many years. But it looks like there's a nice little path going down here. So, GPS is only saying like 14 feet, so I'm gonna grab the cache and find a good place for this thing. It's a little bit of a steep hill, so I'm gonna take the camera off. And I'm thinking the original cache is probably stashed in this little bush here, which looks like it'd be easier getting from up top than down here. But there's lots of places I could hide it, so I'm going to just check. This looks like it could be a floodplain, so I'm not sure if I want to have an actual cache down here or not. Up the hill, there's actually some old metal pieces and an old tire here. Yeah, I'm going to put it back up top. Alright, so there's number one hid. Put a couple more leaves on here and call it done. Okay, number two, cannot locate, I'm sure it was pretty close to the base of this tree, so that's where it's going. A couple logs over top, and all's good for number two. Alright, made it to number three. Left this one for last because, if you could tell, this is a pretty steep hill to climb up and down so this should only be a log replacement but I'm gonna take an extra cash container down because I don't want to come back up here and have to back down so it's neat features down there when we do get back down there so I'll take a take a look here all right we're halfway down I held on to the trees as I kind of made my way down here but you still got a 
go down here. <laughs> and through that. All right, made it down, way up there. It's cool little tunnel here. The creek runs through. It was my choice. I would probably put the cache in the tunnel someplace. But I adopted these caches from another cacher who actually adopted them from another cacher. see any fishy down here. Pretty good water blowing. Anyways, cache is over here. Originally, cache was sitting on top of the hill. Right around there. And it was actually sitting inside an old vacuum cleaner. So, it's supposed to be a large, but vacuum cleaner went missing. So the last time down here, I decided to put it in the crotch of a tree. So, should be the tree. All right, so there's the cash container, just sitting up here, off the tree. And I did do a camel job. And look, exact same container as we used the last time. a little damp so yeah the lock is a little bit wet but most of the pages are dry so if you had a good pen or marker it shouldn't be that easy hard to uh, sign up so I will replace the log I think we'll cash container still not in bad shape so we'll just leave it here all right so there's uh, number three replace. This one's actually called wet socks. You can actually get wet socks down here because we're surrounded by water. All right. Now we gotta get way back up there. We'll try the trail over here. Looks like somebody's come down through there. I think I went up through there one time. It's not any easier. actually wearing my hikers today because I need to be down here. Ow. Yeah, so there's a vacuum cleaner right beside this log. So original location. Well we made it. A little winded. I could feel it in the back of my legs. Between that and the riding the bike. Actually, notice there's a little trail that goes down this side too, but maybe another adventure. There was a cache over there I've never grabbed. It was apparently it's pretty high up in the tree and I don't want to drag a ladder a mile through the bush. Since I was going to be away from the bike for a bit, I did lock the, the bike to a pole. It wouldn't be the first time I lost a bike. Well, I went exploring off the trail. Okay, there you have it. My cache maintenance for November's done. I think there's only one list cache left on the uh, trail, and it's uh, just a quick uh, park to grab. But I'll wait until I'm down in that area to do it. It's a uh, a nano and the the lid's off the nano, but it's secured where it's not going to get wet or anything, so it's not a high priority. So until next time, catch you later, catch you on the trails. Bye-bye. <laughs>